This is the most fun I've ever had with an upscaler. Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? I want to show you Magnific. This is not a sponsored video. I found a lot of posts about this on Twitter, so I wanted to test it for myself. I also have built three different workflows for ConfUI that I show you at the end of the video that you can download for free and they do kind of similar things. Let's get started here. So this tool is pretty amazing. It runs online in a website on the left side, you can upload your image and then you have here, for example, the scale factor goes up to 16 times. You have here optimization for things like portraits, illustration, film and photography, science fiction, stuff like that. Below that, you can write a prompt in here and then you have settings for creativity, HDR, resemblance, fractality and also below that the engine you want to use or you just use automatic. Now for each of these settings, you have here the question mark and that will give you an explanation of what that is. For example, for creativity, it says allows the eye to hallucinate additional details, achieving greater realism at the cost of moving further away from the original image. Here is where magnific magic shines. But be careful, really high values can lead to some pretty strange results. One thing that might discourage you from using this is the pricing, because as you can see here, it's not exactly cheap. You can get it a little bit cheaper when you go for the yearly option where you get then basically two months for free. But this is a pricing that is aimed for professional users and for them it's okay because first of all professional tools are always higher priced and then secondly of course you put these tools into the bill to your customers so it's not paid by you it's paid by the customers so that's kind of okay let's look at the results here so here as you can see i have a portrait of a beautiful black woman and we want to upscale this what i like here is that for each of your upscales you see the settings you have and the pro you use up here on the top right side and that is very very helpful one thing I would like on the website is to have a way to zoom into the image or to see the complete image without having to download it now here you can click and can slide over and ho, 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 ho. look at that look at these amazing details we get with the hair with the eyes with the skin with the lips with the clothing with the hand it's just really really amazing this is an upscale from a photo and another thing by the way you can do here is you want to go more creative for example here I have creativity 2 and i have it set to art and illustration, you can actually turn a photo into a beautiful painting and look again at these details here in the hair, the beautiful eyes, the details on the lips, how this is painted down here with the fingers, with the clothing, everything really amazing. So I find that one of the best things with Magnific is actually when it's hallucinating and creating new details for you. Now, another thing I've tried here is to upscale and reimagine old images from mid journey this is version 3 really low resolution as you can see here and look at the details that Magnific has imagined here this is just mind-blowing as a matter of fact let's look here at the full screen version and scroll into this a little bit more and you can just see here amazing beautiful details for this landscape it also added new details in here that make this giant gate here look even bigger because we have a little village over here with houses look at these dramatic clouds here in the background really really amazing here we have another example of that another landscape that has been created with mid journey version 3 very old and low resolution image and now look at these beautiful details that is just mind blowing again let's go here for the full screen view so we can zoom in a little bit and look at that look at these trees here the flowers these giant stones the pathway leading back here very very nice the trees here all of this has been added by magnific that is just crazy nice you can basically get completely new images from that now, another thing you can also do, here's another image from Mid Journey Portrait. You can see here we have a little bit of a crown blurred in the background. We have jewelry and such on the figure. 
now let's scroll over and look at that <laughs> holy moly now i have to give you that the face looks very different but the detail and look at the crown up here with these black leaves and then you have all this jewelry up here which is very detailed but also consistent and the hair and everything this is just crazy 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 good another thing you can also do here is to use your high resolution mid journey images here i have this kind of library created by mid journey version 6 and now this is the new version how crazy is that Again, let me go here to the full screen view for you. This is the mid journey image. Now I want you to pay attention to these details up here for the upper floor. You see there is no books in here. There's no details in here. These are just kind of empty caves in here. Here we have a column, not much happening here. Then down here for these people, they don't have details in them. They are just smidges. And now check out the new version created by Magnific. Again, we go up here. Look at this, and this is like mind blowing to me. It created an upper level with books, with columns, with details in here that fit the architecture. I'm just, I don't know how this works. It's just mind blowing and it's really crazy. And it kind of creates a new universe you can dive into. Here's more books up here. And look, there is even some art here and the church window and everything. That is just crazy, crazy interesting. Now over here, look at that figure here. Now he has clothing that actually fits the rest of the image. He has a hat. And then over here, we have these books. There's a candle now, the books leaning against these stone steps here again all of that is really beautiful and really amazing my mind is blown however I also told you I created three different workflows for you so the first one is for the upscaling of portrait photos so here we have our low resolution version and what I do first is I resize it to 512 by 512 because the resolution of this is actually smaller than that and then we're using upscaling using a model in this case 4x Nomos 8k head L this is not using upscaling in ultimate or with a K sampler just with the model so this is adding a little bit more detail then we're going over here, we're doing a 1x upscale, so it's not becoming bigger, but it's adding skin details here with this model. I'm also doing a bit of adjustment here, making it a little bit darker, adding a little bit more contrast and a little bit enhancement of the edges. And then we're going to go over here where this is going into our K sampler. Now you can see down here, I'm using for this a Kenny map and I'm also using a depth map to give me more consistency with the image. And already you can see we get some very nice details in here with this version, which is not even high resolution yet because now we are going into a ultimate upscaler. But first, again, I'm having here the upscale, which is not an upscale in this case, because I'm using here the 1x skin detail to add some more skin details to the surface. And then we're doing our ultimate upscale over here, which gives us this version. And I have to say, it's also pretty amazing. The eyes are not as good as with Magnific, but this is free. You can render it on your computer. And I would say the result is pretty good for something that was 256 in the width of the original resolution and then upscale by me a little bit and then getting this crazy version here. So yeah, that is pretty, pretty good. And here you can even see the comparison of both of these images. Look how much more detail has been added with this version. Of course, I also wanted to have a workflow for these creative portrait upscales from Mid Journey. So again, over here, we have our Mid Journey image with the crown here. In this case, I made custom inputs here for the prompt and also for the denoise of the first case sampler. We are using a very high denoise because I want to create a different image that is hallucinated basically based on these details. So for that, again, we are doing here an upscale with the NMKD superscale 178,000 is a 4x upscale. And then again, we go over here, we have here a 1x deep blur 
upscale and then also a downsize that is coming actually before that 2024 so we're not using a super high resolution because what we want to do here is to go into our k sampler now in this case what you can see here is i have changed my strategy here a little bit i'm using here a head preprocessor like this and then also i'm using a scribble preprocessor like this both of them going into our rendering with the k sampler over here which is 0.6 you can see this gives us completely different details in here but of course also allows it to be much more realistic much more beautiful and then i'm doing here latent upscale by only 1.3 and rendering it again with a second k sampler this already gives us a lot more detail here in the face and in the other parts of the image and then we're going on to progress here to have the first ultimate upscale here that is using the NMKD Superscale 178000. And this already, as you can see here, gives us some crazy nice details. Look at the crown up here. Look at the jewelry over the hat and the jewelry she's wearing down here. And of course, then I have here a second upscale. Now this is optional. You can bypass this. This gives a higher resolution and even better details for the skin, for the eyes, for the lips, for everything. The good thing here is I would say that my version looks closer to the original image than with the Magnific version. Of course, there you can tinker around with the settings, but this is pretty good. And of course, I wanted to have a reimagination of the landscapes. Now, for these workflows that I create for you, they are for low resolution input, not for high resolution input. So here we have the low res input again. We are setting the size here 512 in the width. And then again, we do the upscaling here as before. We do the deep blur as before. And then in this case, again, we do here our K sampler. We use here a depth map in this case and a head map. So again, a bit of a different strategy because this is focused on landscapes. And then we do here another latent upscale in this case by 1.5 with a second K sampler. And this gives us this image, which is already pretty nice, pretty beautiful. But of course, we want to have higher resolution, more details. So we are going to go here into our ultimate upscale. In this case, I just left it at one ultimate upscale again with the NMKD Superscale 178000. And look at these beautiful details we get here. I would say pretty amazing still compared to the original input image and like i said you can download this for free with the open art links that i provide below this video let me know in the comments what you think about all of that thanks for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed this and see you soon bye oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh leave a like if you haven't yet and well um, yeah.